marriage is a is a really a big decision. You're choosing, excuse me, you're choosing to uh, spend your life, your future, um, with someone. You're 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 choosing to um, put them first. You're choosing to um, pour into them and make decisions based off of their well-being and 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 choosing rather than being your own boss, you are choosing. Um, <clears throat> you are choosing to um, kind of sidestep that and say, you know what, you are my boss. Um, and I'm not just I'm not talking about women being submitted to men. I'm talking about the mutual, um, for lack of better words, submission that comes in in, in marriage. You know, you have as a man. You you can't just go off and be a man. You know you, you have to you know include your wife in decision making. And then wives, you can't just go and spend money. You have to include money, your husband in these decisions. So this is a big step, and it really does change a lot of things. Um, it's debated whether it's the most important uh, decision you'll ever make, but it is definitely on there. So there's a few things. First off, it's totally normal to have cold feet to kind of second guess yourself. But with that being said, it's also important that you really think about uh, who you're getting married to. So here's just a list of, of, of considerations. First off, are both of you wanting to build a future together? You know, past the romance and everything, are, are both of you have the same goal, the same purpose, the same intent, heading in the same direction? You know, it, it, do you guys want this? Sometimes we convince ourselves that we want something because we get caught up in an emotion or caught up in what other people think. But at the end of the day, is this what you're really wanting? Second, do both of you want a sexual relationship? Sex is really meant for marriage, and to just have sex as a casual thing really takes away from the idea of marriage. Now, marriage is not just about sex, though. <coughs> marriage is about... Um, how to say this? Um, mutual connection. It's about. Um, it's kind of. It's marriage is a lot about a lot of stuff, um, but sex is one of those things, and. Uh, for lack, let's just stay on point here. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't really want to. I'm. I'm sensing. I'm real bad about going on rabbit trails, and I'm sensing that rabbit trails are coming, and I'm trying to wade through them and see if there's anything in it. But no, I don't think there is. So go to the next thing. Um. <clears throat> how do they treat others? Are there signs of abuse? Um. How do they? If, if you're marrying a man, uh, how do they treat their mother? You know. Uh. How do they treat waiters? Uh, how do they treat, uh, you know, friends? How do they treat their exes? You know, keep out for signs of abuse. Um, sometimes people who are abusive just kind of hide. And also keep in mind um, the things that they struggle with. You know, women have it in them to try and be needed by the, by the man. Um, so they're more like drawn to broken people a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, you know, like, oh, this guy has, you know, anxiety, I'll be able to fix him and, and nurture him. Well, after a couple of years, it kind of gets a little bit uh, draining, very draining. Um, yeah. And then men, <clears throat> they like to fix things too, but they do things in a different way. And they just kind of like to just march on in there and, and well, this is the easy solution, let's just do that. You know, and they're completely unobservant to people's feelings. So just keep these things in mind. Uh, maybe ask people for their opinion. What do other, which leads me to the next one. What do others think about them? Um, sometimes you'll just have a friend who says, you know what, I, there's just something about them. I, I don't know. You know, don't see those things as, oh, well, they're just not supporting me. What greater support can there be in raising up objections for a bad marriage. I mean, if you're saying you want to spend the rest of your life with this person, I mean, marriage is about commitment. <coughs> <coughs> marriage isn't just about sex, it's about 
you're saying, hey, nobody else in the world for me except for you. Forever. Until I die. You're the one. And no matter what happens, I'm going to stay by your side. That's a big thing to say. Now, I know in modern days, you know, marriage isn't really looked up to or anything, but um, the idea of marriage is still, um, still very special. <clears throat> so how is a relationship with other people? Um, if you're marrying either if, if you're a woman marrying a man, how is their relationship with uh, with other women in their lives, um, such as their mother? I know that that my webcam's blocking, and I'll just move it. Boop. Um, there we go. Um, remember that people don't change in marriage. Um, I, I'm not saying people don't change, but their their core um, character stays the same. Um, they might put on a front when you first get with them, you know, and, and lead you to believe something that's not true. But at their core, like for instance, if you marry a manipulator, they will always be inclined to manipulate. God changes people and people change in small ways, but their root character oftentimes will stay the same. Not always, but oftentimes. Um, so don't look to your spouse and say, oh look, I'm going to be able to fix them or change them, or train them, it doesn't work like that. Um, and you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to make them frustrated, because you're really not marrying them for who they are. You're marrying them for who you want them to be, or who you think they could be. And that's just not smart. Marry someone for who they are. And then when they act like they are, <laughs> yeah, it won't be a big surprise. Um, but remember that things that you love about people often becomes things that you hate about them. You know. I was watching this movie, I think it's called something like 50 Days of Summer or something like that. Anyways, and at the beginning of the movie, he's going on about all these things, you know, oh, her laugh, her smile. But then towards the end of the movie, he says the same thing, the exact same things, but in a negative light. Like, oh, I hate that smile, that smug little look on her face. The, you know, it's the same things, but what, once, once you look past the romance of the moment, there's just a lot of things that you might not realize irritate you. You know, oh, uh, they just do this thing. It's like, well, yeah, but you saw that before. I mean, that's not something new. <coughs> I married this guy and all he does is sit on his butt all day playing video games. Well, what did he do? What did he do before you got married? I mean, you can't be surprised that somebody has acting like they are. Um, so that, obviously, another question to be asked before you decide to marry someone, are you willing to work through their problems and yours? See, because marriage is saying, okay, look, I realize that I've got this problem, and I'm going to work on it with you because, well, we're married, so we're, we're, we're deciding we don't have the perfect marriage, but we're going to each contribute. Even if you're not contributing, I'm going to contribute. And I'm not going to just take, I'm here to give also. So, um, you know, a healthy marriage should always be give and take. And if your partner's not giving, well, you can't take what's not there, but you can give and give them and give them and give them. And you keep giving of yourself to your spouse. That's what marriage is really about. Marriage is about getting up in the middle of the night <coughs> to go to the store and get your pregnant wife something to drink to, to calm her stomach. Marriage is about um, when your spouse is on their death deathbed, being there for them as, as they go. And instead of being selfish about it, I don't want to see them like that saying, look, they need me and I I committed to them. Um, marriage is – it's about when he is just being so unbelievably selfish, letting it go and loving him anyways. You know, that's what marriage is about. It's about commitment and love without excuses. Love without reserve. Just pouring your heart to someone else. Or even if you never get anything back from it, putting someone else before yourself. That's what marriage is about. So are you going to work through, through the problems? Or are you going to cave the instant something goes wrong? Oh, well, they're not Prince Charming. Well, a lot of times we marry someone because what we really want is a video game or um, a pet, you know, someone who will just love us every time we come home. Well, that, that's a dog. I mean, really, honestly, 
um, consider getting a, a, a pet dog. Dogs are great, man. You come home, it doesn't matter what, if you're the biggest jerk in the world, man. That that dog will love you. It will love you till you die or till it dies. You know, um, even even when a dog is like sick, man, they just love you so much. Uh, my my dog today went outside and stepped on something and really got jabbed in her paw. I don't even know where the crap it came from, but there it is, jabbed in her paw. And she doesn't tell, she doesn't whine or anything. She just walking around my my office limping, and I'm just like, what, what is wrong? Like, did you? I I just assumed she was outside running or something and pulled a muscle or something. But then I go over and check on her. No, 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 no. I was sitting here. That's that's what happened. I was sitting here. And she just yelps, and I just look over like, what is wrong with you? I start looking around for like, did a snake come into my office and bite her or something? So I'm all looking around like, what's going on? And then I call her over to me, and I look, and in her paw is this is this thing jabbing in her paw. And I'm like, ouch, that looks very painful. You know, and, and was she being was she being whiny? No, she, the only reason why she yelped is because she tried to, tried to get at it with her teeth and her tongue, and I don't think that felt very good. So I... <coughs> <coughs> So the whole time that she had this thing in her paw, she's, you know, just kind of hanging out with me, making sure I'm okay. And uh, so then I, I, I take it out and I, and I, and I patch it up and everything. And she just, right now, she's just curled up under my, under my desk. So I turned on the heater for her, and she's just sitting there. She just, just sitting there. See that? that that's a dog. See, people aren't like dogs, <laughs> because people have their own will their own desires and so then you've got two people with different desires it there's going to be clash <coughs> and marriage isn't about not having problems it's about being willing to work through those problems what are their goals what are their dreams <coughs> when you have kids and they start acting differently and suddenly they don't have time for sex and suddenly they just uh, you have different ideas about how to raise kids it are you going to be able to work through them? Are they going to give up? If you're a Christian, are they a Christian too? The Bible, excuse me, the Bible says very clearly that Christians should not be married, excuse me, to non-Christians, unless they got saved after they got married, in which case you're supposed to stay with them until, unless they divorce you. Um, that's just kind of how it works. Um, if you were to summarize the person in one word, how would you describe them? How would other people describe them? You know, what one word would define that person as a person? That's, that's a pretty big question. Um, are they possessive? Now, once again, um, this isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but if you're marrying kind of a tyrannical person, be aware. Be aware of that um, and decide, do you really want to do that? Because they are, gonna, they are going to, you know, uh, be controlling with money and your time and where you go and when you go and your friends and... Be aware of this. If, if you agree to marry them, that, that's that's fine. I mean, I'm not saying you cannot marry this person, but I'm saying, you know, if, if you're going to be cool with that for like two weeks and then get real tired of it, probably you probably shouldn't marry them. I mean, that's just kind of a waste. <clears throat> and then, are they lazy? Is this someone who's going to spend their whole time just sitting on the couch doing nothing? You know, um, if you're a driven person and this person's a lazy person, you know, there's going to be conflict. Um, but you know, the, here's the thing: no, no man and woman are are really compatible, really, if you think about it. They're just so different. Men think this way, women think this way. You know, men want to do this, women want to do this. I mean, they're just two different, two different things. And so there's always going to be conflict of some kind in any marriage. But you know, once again, it's not about avoiding; it's about working through. And remember. Rome wasn't conquered in it it wasn't built in a day. You don't you don't <laughs> if there's an issue you guys need to work through, don't give up just every day you work on it. It's a gradual thing. You know, it's not something that Do they challenge you to do better or worse? Since you got with this person, are you better for being with them or are you worse for being with them? And I think that these all kind of show you hopefully show you a picture of what kind of a person um and to really think about it before you get married, I would highly recommend uh, premarital counseling. Uh, maybe read some books. Um, these are just good places to start. So.